Hi YouTubers, friends and family. This is me, Mary. Um, I have been out of surgery since Wednesday and today is Sunday. Um, I can't remember what the day is. I think it's the 26th maybe? Well, it's, um, I had the surgery on Wednesday and now today's Sunday and it's about 6.30, 7 o'clock at night. And I just thought I'd share with you some things that I was eating. Um, I feel great. I'm going to the bathroom like I should. Everything's processing right. I'm walking regularly. Um, I don't walk a lot, but I walk like maybe five or ten minutes at a time. And then um, I rest a lot. I sit down a lot. But I'm, but if I need something, I try to get it myself instead of having everybody else do it for me. Um, bending down is a little tough, but my husband got me some little um, things that I can just grab stuff with. Anyway, I thought I'd tell you what I'm eating. First, um, in the morning, I usually like to have some apple juice. Now, this is unsweetened, or not unsweetened, but 100% apple juice from Concentrate, and it has no sugar added. At first, I was really concerned about the sugar. No sugar added, okay, should it be sugar-free? Should it be no sugar added? Should it be, what should it be? As long as it's no sugar added, because apples have a natural sugar, it's one thing why when they tell when you go on a low carb diet, they tell you to try to stay away from apples. This has 26 grams of sugar in it, but here's the catch: I only have two ounces, and two ounces is not a lot. Let me get my ounce cup for you. Thought I had. The hospital gave me this little baggie and it has a lot of little cups in it and this is a full ounce so what I do in the morning is I just pour my, my apple juice in and sip very very slowly um, two of these they say I can have like one uh, ounce of chicken broth and one ounce of apple juice but I just like to have some apple juice in the morning so that's what I do in the morning and sometimes I do that at night too because as we all know, apple juice just kind of helps things regulate as well. Um, yeah, so this is my no sugar added apple juice. And I think some of my kids had some apple juice earlier, so you see I'm not taking very, very much from that. Um, these are important because this is how I measure my food. And one of my very favorite meals is my chicken broth. I have Swanson. Uh, natural goodness chicken broth. I went ahead and got the less sodium because you know there's a lot of sodium in chicken broth. One reason why it's so good. I never knew chicken broth was so good. This chicken broth is wonderful. I keep telling my family you should try this. This is good. You know, um, let me give you an example of how many calories I'm consuming a day. This says serving size is one cup. Okay, I'm getting again two ounces just like I take of apple juice. One at a time. So, um, anyway, one cup is 15 calories, but it has 570 uh, milligrams of sodium, so you, know, you want to watch that sodium intake, and three grams of protein. Well, I'm, again, getting two ounces. So what I do is I pour my two ounce cups in here, and then I pour it into a coffee cup, and microwave that for 35 to 40 seconds. It gets it good and hot, it smells wonderful, and it's a warm meal. There's one thing with all those protein shakes I was having, I didn't have a warm meal. And I really desired something warm. So this chicken broth has been wonderful, and I highly suggest it for a warm meal. Okay. Um, then, of course, I have to have my water. Now, remember, you can't have your water 30 minutes before or 30 minutes after a meal. So you really have to time yourself with that. Uh, it's been a challenge. But I sip slowly on water. I was using the big cup the hospital gave me, and they said, measure it in your ounce cup. I'm not going to do that, people. This is 16 ounces. <laughs> when I'm finished, I've had 16 ounces. So the biggest deal is really focusing, sipping on your water. One of the ways I found it was best is I was talking to a girlfriend, and I just kept taking a sip between every conversation we had. So I'd talk, take a sip. She'd talk. I'd talk, take a sip. She'd talk. And before I knew it, half the bottle was gone. And that was great because sometimes I just don't, I'm not conscious about taking a sip. So anyway, 16 ounces of water, and this is the one I've been working on. I think this is my second bottle for the day. Um, I try to get in three, but you can include the apple juice and the broth as your 
fluids too. You need to have 64 ounces a day. I have these gel bites that I got from Kroger. They are sugar free, fat free, 15 calories again for a half a cup. So I'm, uh, my husband got me three yesterday of these orange gel bites. They were good. Uh, they were just a little jelly. And um, it's my fourth day out of surgery. And um, I just, they say you can have jello. And I took it just fine. I haven't had any nausea or any problems. But I just really feel full. I guess if you really want to feel full, eat jello. Because it really made me feel full, almost sticky full. And um, I liked it, but I'm just not ready for that yet. So, anyway, there's another meal that I have. Um, I can have six meals a day. Now, one of my favorite meals, especially when my family is eating, because, you know, they're eating hot dogs, hamburgers, um, pork chops, good stuff, macaroni and cheese. They're eating all the good stuff. But, you know, I, I know I can't eat that, so I don't want it. But what I like to do is have a popsicle when they're eating one of those big meals because I feel like I'm really getting a treat, and it takes me a lot longer to consume this popsicle than it does to consume the broth or the apple juice. Um... My poor husband came to me the other day and he said, okay, here's your dinner. <laughs> and, and, you know, that was funny and cute and sweet. Um, but in reality, here's your dinner. And they're eating pork chops and hamburgers and hot dogs. So um, this uh, sugar-free orange, cherry, and grape, they're all great. Once you've been off sugar for a while, these taste very sweet. They don't have that bitter aftertaste because you're used to it. So anyway, um, when I was in the hospital, I couldn't even finish the popsicle they gave me. But I look at this, and these are about 1.65 fluid ounces for each pop, and I can have two ounces of liquid for every meal this first week. So this is what I've got, these sugar-free cherry pops. And they are 15 calories per serving. So you can see amongst all this, I'm probably getting right at or less than um, 100 calories a day right now. But look. I feel fine. My pouch is fine. My my fluids are running through good, and I've got lots of energy. Um, next week we'll get some more thick fluids in, but for right now, I'm happy. I'm healthy, and I'm glad I made these positive changes. I got on the scale today. I was 244. Uh, I was 248 when I went into the hospital. Um, that's about a pound a day, which is good. But I think that, as I learned from Lose a Lot Care Bear, that you you gain weight when you're in the hospital because they pump you full of all that gas and all that fluid. And uh, trust me, the IV had me going like a Russian racehorse. I don't know how many times. So anyway, um, I think I'm doing pretty good. So 244 it is. I'm walking and feeling great. Anyway, these are this is what I eat, and I'll keep you informed and up to date. And thanks for subscribing and thanks for viewing. I'll see you later. Bye bye.